Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this late night junk journal with me session. Uh, well, when I upload it, it probably won't be late night, but um, it's late now <laughs> when I'm filming this and I've just had the longest day and I'm so tired and I thought, I just thought I wanted to do something creative, but then something not very, like, um, ambitious maybe uh, just something to to unwind and to relax and so I thought I could do a spread in my journal that I've sadly neglected a lot uh, for the past uh, for the past few weeks and uh, yeah and I just printed some some pictures these are mostly like pictures of flowers I thought I could do like a spring themed journal, uh, journal spreads, just so just something, you know, very pleasant and, um, and relaxing. And if you're wondering what this is here on my left, the, the big pile of things is I thought I could kind of make it more interesting for me because even if I'm tired, I still like challenges and I still like trying new things. So I thought I would try this thing called Grab 5. And Grab 5 is a challenge that was um, created a few years ago by a fellow YouTuber. Uh, her name's Adele and her YouTube is Inky Quill and I will link her below. She does a lot of beautiful scrapbooking and also journaling, art journaling, so all sorts of um, fun stuff. And she came up with this idea for using up your stash that you just pick five things from your stash. They can be anything, you know, old things, new things, half-used products things that you want to use, things that you don't want to use but you would like to use them up, <laughs> anything really, uh, and make something with them. And so I thought I would make a journaling spread and see how it goes. So uh, if you would like to participate, uh, I would love it. If you join me, just pick five things from your stash. You can pick the same things or similar, you know, uh, types of things I have here. You can choose something totally different and uh, maybe if you follow me uh, and, and maybe if you, uh, if you join me uh, with this challenge, just tag me on Instagram or let me know in the comments below. I would love to see your projects. So what I picked for today's Grab 5 is some vintage stamps. I have this box of vintage stamps that I never look at and I love stamps so much so I thought that would be a good opportunity to use them. I have some stamps. These are rubber stamps that are new, unused. I received them like a week ago and I didn't even have time to try them. These are from AB Studio and this is a Polish company and uh, I have some lines, some script and some lace patterns. So I want to try and use at least one of them in the spread. I have some alphabet stickers and I have a lot of alphabet stickers that I never use anymore. I used to do some scrapbooking and project life so I, I would use them but I don't use them anymore but uh, you know I, I just have them in my stash so I thought yeah why not let's try to use these as well. I have some flower stickers and these are new. Uh, I, I just want to use them because they are gorgeous. Uh, probably can see them very well but you will once I start using them in the spread and um, these are just from AliExpress, just some flower stickers. And also I have um, a printed kit from TaylorMade Journals. This is her vintage or grungy vintage wallpaper, I think. I don't know which pack it is. I have her three first packs and um, I just chose, you know, I printed all of them and I just chose a ran random one. So I didn't even uh, like look through it, uh, but I want to use them. I want to play with them. I printed all of them and there are like I think 36 in one pack so it's so many beautiful patterns and I just I just didn't have time to play with them before so that 
that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and my photos, yeah, so I have just some wildflowers and some some little shots of flowers that I was able to take uh, on some of the walks that I took with my dog or with my boyfriend, just, you know, looking for spring, even though it wasn't very, like, I, I don't feel like I you know, felt spring this uh, this year because of the whole situation. You know how it is. Okay, so let me look for a spread I would like to work on. This is how I start my how I start my uh, my projects usually, and um, I haven't thought about it yet. This is so pretty. Um, so yeah. And also, this is like my first time doing junk journal with me in this real-time style video. I used to do it with a voiceover. Um, I have the, the playlist uh, linked below for you if you would like to see some of my, my previous videos in this series. But here I, you know, I just wanted to just relax and take you guys with me. <laughs> And just to do something pretty and nice in my journal. So I don't know what I'm looking for because I have those background pages from from Lona's shop. I think I want something I won't be sad to cover up. And I actually I actually think maybe this. Look at this. This is pretty. But this is in German and I don't speak German, so it's it's not very relevant to me. I like the color and I have a whole spread here. Yeah, this, this could work. Let me just check if I see anything better. Hmm. Like this, maybe. This. Then I think I have a bit more space here. No, I mean, this could work too. You know, that's what I love about about junk journaling. Uh, all the different papers and all the fun that I can have with playing with them and choosing them and just... It just never, you know, never gets boring. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this uh, because I have a lot, um, like, um, blank space to work with here. So I haven't thought about it, like I said, and I think I just, I think I'm going to just try to choose some background from these wallpapers and just collage it here and I already love this first page and the brown I may use it. Look at how gorgeous these are. Oh, this is so pretty too. And um, I had that comment on one of my under one one of my videos and it was actually about uh, my own kit but the lady wanted to know if I would print the kit on Nice. on the copy paper and for any kit not just mine for any kit uh, digital kit the only time I print them on regular copy paper thin copy paper is when I want to use them for journaling so for journaling for collaging <laughs> so when I when I want to kind of make a background of them uh, because then the colors oh how beautiful this is I think maybe too busy uh, because then the colors are sort of more muted uh, because this is not a, a high quality photo paper and they they just work maybe a piece of that too they just work so well as as just you know background for when you when you collage I also don't know if I'm going to use all of these photos but oh, I printed them anyway I took I took a lot of flower photos 
this is nice. Okay, wow, oh, this is such a big kit and so many choices. I just love Lorna's shop and Lorna's kits, which you, sorry, which you probably already know because I like talk about her all the time. Um, but she really does an amazing job with her kits. Okay. Uh, so, what do I want? What do I want? I think maybe this, a little bit of this. And some of this, yeah. Okay, so let me put these aside. <coughs> and just tear. I'm just going to tear a few pieces and and collage them on my page. So I'm like, I'm already in my PJs, <laughs> I, uh, I have my tea, my white tea just over there and I'm just so ready to relax, you know, this was a long day, I really did so, so many things. Maybe like this, and maybe just to tie the two sides. So, how was your day, guys? Um, was it busy? Did you have a lot of work? Or were you able to relax and maybe do some crafting, or maybe spend some time with your with your family? I would love to know how how your day was. Okay. Saving all the scraps as usual. Uh, today was the corpo day for me. <laughs> so if you've seen my previous junk journal with me, you may know that I I work part time in a corporate job. Um, I would like to go, you know, full time with my, with my creative business, but I just, um, I'm just not there yet. And, and so I work, uh, I work half time in a corporate job and those days, it's usually two or three days per week. Uh, and those days are usually so tiring to me you know even though I only work like eight and a half hours um, and with my creative business it's 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 closer to you know 12 hours a day uh, I'm still always more tired after after the corporate work um, I don't know I just it's it's kind of draining but um, but I, but I I also feel lucky, you know, that I have the possibility and I'm, I'm really grateful for it. So it's not that bad. Maybe just a little bit of that somewhere. So I'm trying to kind of make these two pages work together. That's why I'm using the same uh, wallpaper on both sides here Those scraps. 
so yes so i feel grateful and i feel lucky that i'm able to work part-time because i used to work full-time at the same company you know even at the same team and uh then because of some health issues i i couldn't do it anymore and uh, i was lucky to to be able to stay part-time there and work you know in the same projects that i like and with the same great people i i really have a great team of people there and i just wish we could go back to the office already you know working from home although it it definitely has its perks uh it's it's just it's lacking the social factor <laughs> and i miss my lunches you know with the team and our coffee breaks that was um that was always the highlight of, of the corpo days for me um and and now it's just mostly work 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 but, but that's that's how it is now and yeah and after after work i had so many things to to do today that i um when i came home late in the afternoon i was so tired i just basically collapsed on my uh bed and it's been like you know 40 minutes or close to an hour just not doing anything and maybe reading a little bit uh on my kindle but but basically not doing anything and and it felt good just you know not maybe for too long i don't like I don't like not doing anything. I don't. Well, sometimes I do. I guess it depends when you have a good company and not doing anything. That's that's nice. But um, when you're alone, and it's just it's not my thing. <laughs> okay, let me start gluing these these down my pages. Oh my goodness. But it's a funny thing I notice about us crafters that despite, you know, um, despite, oh, that no matter, <laughs> no matter how tired we are or sometimes, you know, sick or anything, we still kind of are drawn to our craft rooms and our craft desks and we still want to do want to do something crafty. I, I've noticed that about a lot of people in our community and I think that's so funny and and also that's just so special. This is our outlet and it helps us with dealing with like um, busy every day and sickness sometimes it's just just really amazing okay I'm not sure if you've noticed but I've like no idea what I'm doing here uh, I tell you guys I'm so tired <laughs> I um uh, I don't know what's going to happen with this spread if this is if this is going to be any like anything nice <laughs> but we'll see with every project I find or almost every project I find that there is always this like uh, awkward or even ugly stage where you don't know where you're going <laughs> but you keep going and uh, and at last you know you get somewhere maybe like this I want a bit more green on this side and in the end you know you can 
you're usually satisfied with the effect, I think. But the, during uh, the process of creating, you probably wouldn't guess you would like the end result. I have it often with my my projects. Mm, how do I like maybe like this? Because I like these blue flowers here. Okay. Okay, so that's the first item from our grab five, the, the printables, and they are so beautiful. Oh, I love them. Okay, we have our rose family still visible. Okay, so I think, where's my crew cup? Okay, I think it would be a good time to actually try out the stamps because I'm kind of creating a background here. Um, maybe not this one, these are just lines, but let me try them on some spare piece of paper and see what they look like. Because I haven't, I haven't had a chance to do it yet. So this is the lace one. And I can link the AB Studio below for you so you can check them out, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is nice for um for like yeah for just for background for adding some texture so here this is what it looks like i didn't stamp it very well but it still adds texture and then there is the script one mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it would be better with some acrylic block, but I don't want a very crisp image. Yeah, I love this crisp too. I don't want a very a very uh, crisp image, you know, for my background. Uh, I just want some texture here and there. So like this. Maybe a little bit of this lace too. Here and there. Okay. Also adds a little bit of grunginess so it's not all, you know, pristine. I love how it looks with the uh, torn edges and the, the grungy stamping. Okay, let me just clean these. Not a very professional way to clean your stamps. <laughs> but, but it works. Okay. So, what next? What next, guys? Let me see if our, well, let me see um, just my photos. Okay, so I have, this is pretty for this page, and I have some with more like purple, and some with more green and neutrals, like white flowers, and these with pinks. I'm not sure if I want to use all of them, but... Okay, so this could go here. I want some title too. And yeah, okay, so let me put this aside. I found when I was cleaning up, I found this um, like a package. It was from stickers and it has this window and I always like window, windows. <laughs> uh, 
so I thought maybe I could make like pockets here mm, and would this fit actually oh it fits perfectly but then mm, it's too I would like more like this in the window so let me try to my scissors yeah, my scissors any scissors <laughs> oh wow uh, I have these small Tim Holtz ones so let me just cut a bit down here Well, no. Yeah, okay, see what I mean? The, um, the whole image is now in the, um, in the window. So, I actually I even like the colors, you know? It's cream and those pinks that kind of correspond with the flowers and our wallpaper. I don't even think I want to do anything to it. So maybe I will just cut off the flap. Ooh. Cut off the flap. And I will make um I will punch like a half circle here so to make it easier to pull out our um photo. Oh my goodness, so, so not in the middle, but this is my personal journal, I don't mind. Um, I'm just trying to fight perfectionism, you know, <laughs> and, yeah, and I'm just trying to go with the flow, so... Okay, let me take a sip of my tea. Can I ink this section? Yeah, maybe, maybe just like that. I have some ink on the inside too, which is good actually. Okay, looks vintage enough. Now we need something to cover the 24 pieces and the hand writable sticker thing. So, what do I want? Um, some stamps. Maybe. Hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe. Where is my ephemera holder? Um, maybe some label. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A label could work. Okay, I need something small down the bottom here. I don't think I have anything that small from this set. And something, I need something thinner. Okay, this could work if I use something for the background here, maybe, <coughs> maybe a scrap of wallpaper could work. Uh, which one do I want? this will cover this and 
here we go and what could we have down here maybe I'm actually thinking maybe another maybe another scrap or two. Okay, let me first glue this down and not waste time thinking. Especially that I'm I'm a bit too tired to think too much today, so yeah. Okay. So um, I'm wondering, um, do you guys actually use junk journals, you know, do you journal in them? I'm always so interested in like whether people actually use them, whether, what do they use them for, you know, of course I would love to know how the journals that I make and sell are being used but I can hardly, you know, go ask people hey how um how do you use the journal you bought from me um and you know it's it's a personal thing so you don't have to share but if you would like to share with me tell me if you use a junk journal and how how do you use it what do you use it for do you use it like for memory keeping like i do um or do you use it just like maybe like a creative outlet just some, you know collaging and stuff and not really memory keeping or maybe um maybe use them for writing i'm actually considering uh, making myself a journal just for writing because uh, i've i've been journaling you know just strictly writing for ages now and um i've always i always have a journal like i always have a journal <laughs> and uh, but they are usually just notebooks and i was thinking maybe like this i was thinking about making myself a junk journal that would be just a pretty cover and loads of tea stain paper that uh that i would just straight right on in <laughs> you know i would just write in it and, and journal in it so that's an idea so many ideas and so little time to to make everything you would you'd like to make all right i like it i like how it looks mm -hmm. and so now I guess my photo fits in and it looks nice. One last thing I think I may want to do here would be something, some kind of a tab maybe, so that I can pull it out more easily. Let me see. Let me see, I have some sorry socks, sorry socks here, and I have something that I can attach, would this work, this could work with the colors, okay let's just go with it, don't I overthink it, okay and I just want to staple it I think. Sorry, sorry for my squeaky chair, guys. I ever since I moved in the beginning of the year, I've been working on this squeaky, not very good quality chair that that was here in this in this apartment that I'm renting, and uh, well, I don't. I don't actually have space 
to uh, to buy a like a regular desk chair you know that's that sounds sad but <laughs> that's uh, kind of my living situation at the moment okay all right and now I want something on the back it's a scanner here which which is not ideal I would like to do some some journaling I think okay this is so cute uh, so what can I put on the back of this photo I can definitely ink the corner and the, the edges so that I think I have some scrap of tea stain paper oh I do could use that Mm, maybe I'll just use my ter tearing ruler. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Maybe along this edge. And how long do I want it? do okay I think I can just use those and glue them this one and uh, what else do I have here I have this and this one I did basically covers the whole canon <laughs> uh, I use Canon selfie uh, printer to, for printing my photos and it's very comfortable um, very like it's comfortable to use you know you can use it you can pair it with your phone and you can print uh, straight from your phone which is great and I really like it uh, I don't print that many photos, you know, I don't think it would be, uh, it would be affordable for me uh, when, if, I, if I was like printing hundreds of photos, but for the photos that I print, it's, it's fine, it's not bad. I would love to get one of those instant, like small uh, uh, printers. You know the ones. I think one of them is HP Sprocket. I think uh, those are maybe not the best quality from what I've heard, but they are so great to take. You know, on a trip or with you on your vacation and you can just journal on the go and print everything and they print photos on on a sticker paper which is so perfect because you just print them and stick them in your journal uh, so what could be more perfect you know uh, with the journaling on the go so I would love to to get one one day Maybe, maybe I will. <laughs> um, not, not that I'm planning any traveling anytime soon. Um, probably no one really is, or not many people are. 
Okay, so I think I can stick down this and let me use some double sided tape for this because it's just too thick for me to trust my glue stick. So I haven't been using junk journals for that long, you know. I've only found junk journaling like maybe a bit more than a year ago and I've been making journals maybe for a year now. But it rocked my world. <laughs> it it I've always journaled, you know, I've always journaled, I've always had some kind of a journal and I've always had a writing journal, but for some time now I was, uh, I mean, for some time before I found um, junk journaling, I'd been uh, scrapbooking and doing some art journaling and creative journaling, but usually, you know, I would just buy a notebook and do some stuff and some collaging and, and things like that. And then I found Johanna Clough's channel and and I was instantly hooked <laughs> i was instantly hooked i love the idea oh this is coming off i love love the idea of uh journaling on those different types of papers and with different like you know i've always collected things so like tickets and some brochures and whatnot um oh my goodness no i glued it Oh, hmm, not, not what I wanted. Maybe this is still going to fit. Nope. Uh, okay, so let me stick something in there. <coughs> yeah, this is very... Very real process, what you're seeing. Sorry guys, I have to see what I'm doing here. here so that I don't have tape yeah it's good on my photo okay so this is my my photo here and I still have a lot of things to use so I've used stamps and I've used the papers now I have the stickers but I'm going to probably use them for decorating so I have, I'll use them uh, last I have the the alpha stickers and I have stamps so let me check out these stamps if I have something that the colors you know would match this maybe a lot of birds here and some some dinosaurs <laughs> I don't know how old these stamps are. I got them from my sister. We used to collect them when we were kids and then, then we stopped and most of them just, you know, was lost, <laughs> which was, which was really a bummer. That's, if I, think about how many things I've thrown out, you know, over the years that I could now use in my junk journals. That's, that's not good. <laughs> that is really, uh, I wish I've known about junk journaling before, you know or er earlier so I uh, would keep those those things but it is what it is I guess okay so I've chosen some stamps and um, what do I actually want to do with them probably like some 
some decorating. Uh, okay, so maybe, okay, so I will use them with my stickers as a decorative part. Now I want to stick some of these photos. So which one do I want? Which ones do I want? I want these. And maybe this one. Okay. And let me also grab um, grab my ephemera holder again. Because I would like some big labels. Sorry. So I have some journaling spots ready. Mm -hmm. Could I use this for some purple actually? So maybe that would be nice. This is purple too, and it's even nicer. With this, just choosing, you know, whatever colors fit my spread here. I was saying, I, I honestly don't remember now, but I think I was saying I've always been collecting things and uh, with junk journaling I, you know, I now have a place and a purpose for them, you know, I have a place to keep them and I have a purpose for them and that really, really changed the way I, I think about journaling and um, and yeah, that's that's just awesome. Maybe I want this here. I want the Rose family still visible though. Uh, let me just try to collage some of these. Like this Rose family. Okay. And then these. Maybe like this, and then I will have some place for the title. Okay, inking up <laughs> as usual. I use a type of a crafter that inks up everything, like I am, or do you never ink up the edges? I feel like my projects are incomplete when I don't ink up, but then when I watch crafters who don't do it, like for example Rachel from Roxy Creations, she never inks up anything, then I love their projects, you know, I love her projects, I love the way they look without the inking, and then I try to do something myself without inking and I don't like it, <laughs> so there's that. All right. Uh, this is inked up. I want I want to to glue those. Yeah, let me glue them first. beautiful pattern so maybe like this here um, so I always try to leave some space for actual you know writing in, in my in my journal when I'm doing a spread like this uh, because for me uh, for me, writing is uh, writing and journaling in this in this form is like the the, the key the key element, I guess, of of junk journaling. 
or journaling in general i um i know that there are people who who don't have to write who can express their thoughts you know in a different way like with art with painting or drawing or collaging and it's amazing but for me i've always thought in words you know in written words i'm not much of a speaker but i'm good with words when it comes to to writing so so i've always been journaling and it's such a um such an essential part of my life that i i really can't imagine my life without it okay now what i thought i would just distress the edges of the photos a bit i don't want them so perfect so perfectly like even and i had i had a distressing like edge distress distressing two ones but then i'm i, I move quite often and those small things from my stash just get I don't know, lost somewhere. So I don't have a distressing tool anymore, but I always have a pair of scissors. Oh, I've torn this one. Oh, doesn't matter. It's actually quite nice. Okay. And this one too. And I'm going to also ink them up. Surprise, surprise. Um, but that's because uh, with distressing, there are some white edges now, and I don't. I don't like them, and I don't need them. <laughs> right. Okay. I had one more thought. I have this paper. This is actually like, um, what is it? Like a sandwich paper, you know, that you would, oh, sorry, that you would pack your lunch in. Um, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to glue these down to it because I want those photos to have some kind of a background around them and some kind maybe maybe some some more texture so let me let me show you what i have in mind i'm just going to glue them down and cut cut around them not too close though so i still see a little bit of it it's not quite as thin as tissue paper i love doing this like matting my my photos with tissue paper it's not so uh it's not that nice of a texture but it's still it's still nice and i think it will work it will do what i wanted to do and we'll see in a moment I really need some bigger scissors. Sorry, guys. Okay, have some here. Um, so just cutting, cutting. You can see I'm not, I'm not going out of frame too much. But I'm just cutting. <laughs> okay. Here. Okay, see what I was talking about? Just a little bit of border and a little bit of, of texture around around my photo and it makes them pop beautifully. probably hear the train going just outside my window. <laughs> I live just uh, next to the, the ra railway station and 
At first I thought it would bother me, but it doesn't. I guess I got used to it. I don't even wake up at night when, when the trains come and go. I guess you can um, get used to pretty much anything. And I also, I don't know, I prefer to have my windows facing the rarely used railway than, I don't know, another block of flats, which is very, unfortunately, very common here in Krakow, that because um, there are so many people and because there are so many new buildings being built, <laughs> uh, it, the, the, the block blocks of flats often face each other and uh, that's I don't think that's very comfortable I don't think I would be very comfortable uh, living living like that at least not for a for a long time okay using using oh, which one I want maybe this one I'm using double-sided tape here because I want it a bit more secure than, than with the glue stick. Mm. It's cute, I like how the spread is turning out. As you can see, <laughs> this is not a very fast process. We are already like reaching almost an hour. And and I still haven't finished, but but it's very enjoyable. Okay, so now for now for the title, I thought I could use, I could say like looking for spring or something, and I could use these small alphas. These are from Tim Holtz uh, for the looking. And unfortunately, as I remember, they are not very sticky. Probably that's why I stopped using them, but I do want to use them. I like how they look. So I'm going to take my liquid glue and I'm going to help them. Not measuring anything, not thinking too much about it. Uh, just going to stick them down. Okay, and oh, I'm going to <laughs> hope I can. I, I have enough vowels. <laughs> um, I need looking for. I need three O's, and I will use a different font. Oops, sorry guys, I knocked my my lamp. Blue. Um, I need another oil. Okay, I have a lot of oils here. And that's good. So I hope you join the Grab 5 challenge with me. Um, I think it's going to be great for me to actually start using my stash because I hoard some supplies and also because I have a very limited space where I live, I I don't always um, I don't always like remember uh, where I put anything, everything. I can't, you know, I can't have everything sort of on hand. Super, super spring. Okay, I'm going to be able to do the spring with these. These are cute. Okay, and these are actually sticky. Spring. So I have a lot of things just stacked, you know, somewhere. I, I, I unfortunately, I have a very tiny living space, which is basically my my workspace too <laughs> so spring. 
so I can't use too much space with with my supplies and with my crafting stuff stuff because then there won't be enough left for me to live <laughs> yeah sip spring okay yes okay G looking for spring I like it I like it okay and now this is where my journaling is going to go so now the last part before i pause you and do my journaling is going to be decorating and we are going to decorate using the stamps that we have and some flowers from those flower stickers and which one which one i have those that are kind of white yeah they would look nice yellow I could use one yellow maybe okay first the stamps because they are bigger and um, mm. <laughs> I haven't just haven't used stamps for a long time in my in my journal a bit like this I think I, I think I like it and maybe here mm -hmm. and one more I just want one more somewhere well, I just realized I covered my rose family, um, but you can still see the rose. Okay, maybe like this. Yeah, let's glue them down. Let's not waste time thinking too much about it. So yeah, so I don't use stamps very much. And yet I love when people use stamps. I love any collaging that has stamps in it. I am just... I love them. When I see them over on Instagram, for example, I'm always inspired. And I'm... Rose. <laughs> I'm always just trying to remember to use them. And now, now you know I'm challenging myself, which is good. Maybe like this. So it's not so even. Okay. And the last thing will be some of those cute stickers. And look how sweet they are, guys. Oh, I think there is some glare from my lamp, but maybe this is better. They are just, they look like real flowers and they are so cute on on those um, transparent backgrounds and they are very like tiny and delicate so perfect for, for just those finishing touches you know and you just need just something extra to finish your spread and to actually feel like it's finished okay maybe want some some yellow here okay, i have something maybe tiny bit bigger yeah that's good nice I could use those two here maybe and then something small and white oh I love the iris okay yeah I think that's it so let me glue them down 
and I am actually going to pause you guys I'm going to do just some journaling about where I found those flowers and how spring was you know this year how how we were not actually able to go outside and and see all the glory of the of the spring okay guys so this is how our spread is looking right now without uh journaling let me pause you and i will be back in a second with uh the finished spread okay guys i'm back my journaling is done and as always i feel like uh adding handwriting uh, however illegible it might be like mine obviously is uh, adds so many uh, so much character to a page so here is what it looks like I just added a little label here that says May 2020 um, because this is when those pictures were taken and uh, so this here is how the spread turned out the journaling there is a little uh, photo journaling card here okay so I hope you guys enjoyed it it turned out to be a quite a long video so I won't keep you any longer if you are still here Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you enjoyed this form of junk journaling, junk journaling with me. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!